If you want to spend less time differentiating your lessons to meet the needs of all of your learners, then you're definitely going to want to keep watching this tip video. So this tool is a real game changer and it's about to save you so much time. So it's called Diffit and to access it, you're going to go up to diffit.me. It is in beta mode right now, just to be aware of that. And so the way this works is you can literally type any topic, theme, or question in here. You can be as specific as possible. Any sort of topic that your lesson is on, you can add that here. You can add an article or a video or any text or excerpt. So for this example, I'm going to add uh, a link to a video and then I'm just going to select generate resource. It might take a second to load, but you'll see that it's pulling in the video from the link that I just dropped in and it generated this reading passage and I can go in here and edit any of these or easily copy them with one click. So here's a summary, there's vocabulary words, all the definitions of everything from that video. There's multiple choice questions. I can add questions here if I want to. There are short answer questions, open in prompts, so many different things that you can add into your lessons that normally you would spend so much time creating. But where the real magic is, is on this Get Student Activities button. So I'm gonna click that. So once I click on that, you're gonna see an entire library of activities that are already done for you. So you can see that there's a Google Forms quiz, there's vocabulary slides, there's a workbook, there's so many different things that you can use. And then you can also come in here and you can narrow your search by grade level, subject area, or format. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So for this example, I'm gonna choose this vocabulary practice. I'm gonna select that and then click on open in slides. It might take a second to load, but it's generated the slide deck for me that's using all of the content that I put in there via that one video link that I dropped in. So you can share this to Classroom, which is super great, but I'm just gonna open it in Google Slides for this example. So you can see it created that slide deck for me, all based on that video I popped in with that one link. And the great thing is, is that it took all the vocabulary words that it pulled from that video and put them into those slides for me. So. Now I have this pre-made activity that I don't really have to do a whole lot to. I can come in here and add things in, I can customize it, but if this is pretty much good to go. It has all these different activities in here and I know it's on topic based on the video that I put in. So this is a real game changer. I love that it populates it for you inside of whatever app that you wanna use. I think it's super helpful. It saves you a ton of time and there's so many great activities to choose from based on whatever sort of content lesson topic, anything that you're covering in your instruction, it can save you so, so much time. So check it out.